And the best part, you won't have to write a single line of code. That's right, an AI gets the job done in minutes. Perfect. You can integrate this chatbot on your website or use it as an API. Hello, my AI automation agency champions. So you want to learn how to build a custom chatbot using Flowwise AI. Before we dive in, let's consider some of the application as to where you would use these bots as an AI automation agency. You can service legal firms, enhance paralegal research with our AI. They have a ton of data, case laws, precedents, and legal provisions. A bot would make a lot of difference. Next, coaching businesses. We can improve client service by using our AI chatbots. The bots can answer the client's questions and we can train it on coaching techniques, client history, and other related research. Next up, we can use it for e-commerce platforms to boost customer satisfaction using AI to help customers find products, uh, answer questions for time-sensitive reviews and complaints because they have a huge product catalog and descriptions and AI gets the job done in minutes. We can service insurance companies, again, boosting customer service by deploying AI to answer customer questions. They have heaps of data on a lot of insurance policy details and terms, or we can offer the service to e-learning platforms. We can greatly enhance student learning experience by using AI. We can use it to answer any questions from the course material and textbooks. It's like having your personal tutor with you. Imagine having your own custom AI chatbot that can handle all sorts of data, whether it's a CSV file, PDF, simple text, a folder full of all of these files, or even the entire database or a website. Sounds complex, right? Well, not anymore. In this video, we are going to guide you step by step on how to build your own chatbot. Today, we have some cool tools for this tutorial. Flowwise AI, Render, OpenAI's API, and Pinecone. And the best part, you won't have to write a single line of code. That's right, no coding required at all. So let's talk about Flowwise AI. This open source tool allows you to build LLM flows using Langchain framework. I already made a dedicated video about Langchain for AI automation agencies. I recommend you watch it before watching this video. Now, if you have already watched the video, you know that Langchain helps LLMs to become data aware, meaning we can connect LLMs to other sorts of data. Why use Flowwise AI? It's open source. You can use it to both personal and commercial projects. Thanks to its drag and drop interface, both developers and no-code developers can build complex and powerful apps powered by LLMs. All right, let's get started. Step one involves visiting GitHub and forking the project. All the links are in the description down below. Forking basically allows us to host it on our own server. While a local host could do the job, our own server just gives us that extra edge. Uh, for example, we can access it whenever we want. There are several other options like Replit, Versal, or Render. For today's example, I'm going to use Render. So our next stop, Render. After you sign up, navigate to your dashboard, go to New. You'll find an option for web service. Then it'll ask you to connect your GitHub. After doing so, uh, you will link it up with the repository you just forked from. Next, 
you'll want to assign a name to your project. Also ensure that you've selected Node as your runtime, not Docker. For our demo today, the free version of Render will be enough. But remember, if you plan on launching your app to public or when you give this to your client, when you are delivering this to your client, you likely need a more robust plan. Render will need about 10 minutes to deploy. I've already set up mine earlier, so I will move forward with that. When all the steps, setup steps are completed, you'll receive a URL. This link will lead you directly to Flowwise AI. With its easy drag and drop interface, setting up a chat flow is a breeze. Let's click on add new. The first component we'll be adding is the document loaders. Remember we touched upon this earlier. This is where you can integrate any type of document, whether it's a PDF, CSV, docs, JSON, or data script from a whole website or a folder. For this demonstration, I'll be using a PDF, 11 page paper on the tree of thoughts prompting technique. Notice how our PDF takes the input text splitter. This is what we'll add next. Specifically, the recursive character text splitter. This feature plays a crucial role when dealing with large amounts of data as it helps us to partition it into a manageable chunks. In this example, I've set it to 1000, but feel free to adjust this based on size of your data. There is also an overlap option for documents uh, with similar chunks, but I leave it blank for now since our document is relatively small. Essentially, what our splitter does is it takes the data, break it down into smaller digestible pieces and prepare it for storage. So where does these chunks go next? into a vector database. There are numerous options to choose from, but for this demonstration, I'm opting for a pine cone database. The inputs for this block are the document, which we have ready, and embeddings. For this, we'll use OpenAI embeddings. These convert our previously mentioned chunks into vectors helps machines to make sense of the data. For the OpenAI API key, it's pretty straightforward. You'll find the links in the description down below. Once you're in, click on personal and then select view API keys. You'll need to create a new secret key. If you don't already have one, be sure to copy it when it's generated because they won't show it to you again. So after signing up, for Pinecone, you'll want to head to indexes, then create index. Give it a name uh, for the dimension field, enter 1536. That's the recommendation from OpenAI. We can leave the rest as default. Once the index is ready, copy the index name and the environment. For the API keys, just click on API keys and copy the relevant one for this project. So what have we done so far? To paint a clearer picture, we are taking a document, splitting it into smaller pieces and storing these in a vector database. This is done in such a way that our large language model knows exactly where to find specific information when questioned. So advancing in our setup, integrating the conversational retrieval chain. That's the next step. Remember our platform Flowwise AI is built on Langchain and Langchain is a set of tools, agents, modules, prompt templates, and other good stuff to make LLMs to have expanded capabilities. The QA retrieval chain functions as a bridge, ensuring compatibility between various tools and modules. So it's crucial 
in chatbot development. It's like having a mediator that translates data processed by one tool into a form another tool can understand and work with. So we are ensuring smooth data flow and more accurate responses. Now, why did we choose conversational option? Well, because it retains a short term memory of previous queries. Essentially, it holds on to the context of conversation, allowing for a smarter response. It basically remembers the conversation you had till that point. Next, we are going to connect our large language model, we have a variety of choices here. But for this demonstration, let's proceed with OpenAI model. And that's it. We're all set to chat with our own chatbot. All right. After clicking save, let's hit that chat icon and put our AI chatbot to the test. How about we ask Nice. Okay. So the next question. Can you summarize the abstract in two sentences? Perfect. Now that we have our own chatbot up and running, what's next? You can integrate this chatbot on your website or use it as an API, opening a whole lot of possibilities. Remember, creating a chatbot is something anyone can do. But here at Gray Matter AI, we understand that you might want a helping hand. That's why we offer a done for you or done with you services. So feel free to reach out to us through our website. So as a up and coming AI automation agency owner, if you do not know how to code, this method is a perfect way to get that practice so you can start offering something to your clients even for free. If you enjoyed that video, be sure to subscribe for more.